The next tab that we have available to us is the HTML tab. This allows us to edit the HTML on the fly. Users can come here, make the changes and the changes will be reflected on the page straight away. This tab is quite useful. HTML tab lets the user find out how the web page is structured and how the HTML information is interpreted on the uh, Firebug browser. You can do a lot more with this tab. Now if I click on the sub-menu here, the context menu, you can see lots of options that you can toggle on and off. We have the show comment. Now we all know that every page may have a comment added to it. So if I click on show comment, let's find out if this page has any comment or not. Um, looks like this page doesn't have any comment. Let's uh, click on the Microsoft and looks like we do have some comments here. So if I toggle the comments on and off, you can see the comments going away. If I want to bring back the comments, the comment section comes back and we all know that the comment is enclosed with these characters. All right, so coming back to the Google tab, now, as I mentioned earlier that this HTML tab allows users to edit things on the fly. So let's say I want to edit the name here or add something to it. So I can just simply click on the inspect button here and bring my mouse over to the text or the div here and just place it. So this says, this is part of a div. This has a class called logo subtext. And this is the text that I'm interested in editing. So I can say something like as you can see as I was typing Firebug added some text uh, some data here so this was all done using the Firebug. This is not writing anything to the server but it's just on my client on the, on the browser itself. Show entities as symbol uh, which means this which displays HTML entity characters inside the node view in the actual character representation. Then we have the show entities as names, uh, which displays the HTML characters inside the node view in their entity name representation. Similarly, we have the Unicode. It does the same thing, just that it displays HTML characters inside the node view in their Unicode representation. Um, then we have the highlight change. So when something is changed inside of the DOM structure, it just highlights that change being made. And this section will expand the change being made. This will scroll into the view. So when you toggle this one on and off, it will toggle scrolling to changes to the DOM structure inside the DOM. And then we have the shade box model. So this would actually, I'll show you what this means. So if I untick this one, and as I'm hovering over the markup, uh, the selection is being made on the page. But if I have this option turned on, it will just have the section with the shade box. You can see it is now really emphasizing the div that I have selected. So that is the purpose of having the shade uh, box model. Then we have the show quick info box. This is quite handy. Uh, this gives a small a light box or a pop up on the on the screen so if i open this one up now if i just hover my mouse it displays a quick info just you which you can drag on the screen wherever you want to place this so let's take the example of, of this one so this says the id of this div is hp logo as you can see it on the quick info window the node name is div because this is a div and so that was the last item here and inside the html tab in the next section i'm going to show you how we can edit things on the fly using the html tab